What's up guys, it's Jay with Bearded Dad Fishing and I'm always being asked what my kayak fishing setup costs when I'm on the water, people online, they wanna know what it costs. And to be honest, I wasn't sure until I added it up piece by piece, every accessory, every piece of gear on here. So we're gonna go through every piece of gear I have on my Old Town Sportsman PDL 120 and what it costs. But before we do that, dad joke of the day, why are fish so easy to weigh? Because they come with their own scales. All right, so let's jump into it. This is my Old Town Sportsman PDL 120. Absolutely love this kayak. I've been rocking it for the last three years, and this thing is a beast. So back in 2021, when I bought it, it was $2,200 for this kayak. Right now, though, it'll cost you $2,750. Yes, a huge jump in price in the last couple of years, but it is what it is, that's everywhere. So I spent $2,200 on the kayak. The next most expensive item on this list right here is the fish finder. This is the Garmin 93 SV UHD unit. So I love this thing. I picked it up at Bass Pro on a Black Friday sale. So I got this for $700. Uh, for the unit itself. However, I did have to buy the mount, which was the Yak Attack Universal Fish Finder mount, which was $50. And I had to get the Navarre Fishing Kayak Scupper Hole uh, Transducer mount. This is about $30 right here, and it's super worth it. You could just put the transducer on the Universal mount included on this, but I love it. I love this mount specifically from Navarre Fishing because it keeps it up high against the hole uh, under the kayak, protecting it from uh, bumps and debris and everything else. And speaking of Navarre Fishing, he has a ton of awesome accessories for Old Town. So if you don't know Navarre Fishing, I'll put a link below to his website. I don't get any money off of those clicks, but he has awesome accessories for Hobies, for Old Towns, and they're all original things that he came up with, which is really cool. So in addition to that scupper mount, I also have my PDL spacers that I got. So what this does is it keeps my drive centered perfectly. This was $20 for these and I love them. Definitely worth it. I also have the PDL mount rail from Navarre Fishings. This just attaches directly to the PDL drive and allows me to put a track mounted accessory, which I have this uh, Yak Attack paddle holder, but I keep my net on there. So the net's always right down the middle and away from the rest of my fishing stuff, which I love. So this right here was $25, but definitely a really cool accessory from Navarre Fishing. Another thing that I got from Navarre Fishing is this handle mount for my fish finder. It allows me to keep my fish finder much closer to me versus putting it on the rail over here. So we have $30 on this Navarre handle mount. And the last item I have from Navarre Fishing is actually on the unit itself, on the drive, which is this prop from Navarre Kayak Fishing. So this is a floating prop. And what this allows me to do is if my prop breaks while I'm on the water for whatever reason, if it breaks, I can easily just turn this knob and loosen it and switch out the prop myself on the water. And if I happen to drop that in the water, well, it floats. And he sent over two of those and two of those just cost $25. Next up on my kayak is the paddle. So paddles can be anywhere from 20 bucks to $200. This is a $20 paddle, totally worth it. I pedal 99.9% .9 of the time in this thing. And the times that I can't, which is usually when I'm launching or if I'm stuck in some weeds, then I'll paddle. And a $20 paddle is more than good enough for me. I already lost my $50 paddle. So I figured I'm gonna head over to Walmart and that is my $20 paddle, totally worth it. Another accessory, obviously what you need when you're fishing off a kayak is gonna be a landing net. So I already showed you, I keep it mounted on this PDL drive mount from Navarre Fishing, but the net itself is a nylon rubber coated net. So that way the hooks don't get stuck in it nearly as easily and it's collapsible, which is really nice to keep with you on the water. And these can go anywhere from 30 to $100. I paid $25 because I found it in the clearance section of Bass Pro. The next accessory we have is this Yak Attack Panfish Pro uh, GoPro camera mount. So this is my mount right here. It floats and it attaches to these Yak, Yak Attack lock and load systems, which is nice because I could pop it from here to in the back to wherever else I have these lock and load mounts, which is really nifty. 
but this right here costs a hundred dollars and it has an articulating arm right here so you can kind of face the camera wherever you want it obviously my gopro is not on there because it's right here filming next up i have my seat cushion which cost me twenty dollars but oh 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 so worth it keeps you a little bit higher up so a little bit more comfortable when you're pedaling and it keeps your cheeks a little bit more comfortable as well on those long days on the water right behind the seat i have this kayak cooler there's a ton of them online this one's from Halawana, and it's a very nice cooler uh, for the price so it's 50 dollars, and it's great to keep your beverages on the water or if you're gonna catch some fish and take them home to eat you could throw some ice in there and it's perfect for that as well but we got 50 dollars in the cooler moving on back from the cooler we have the catch board which is the big aluminum catch x board this was 75 dollars now these boards as you know they're for tournaments and i fish my fair share of tournaments so you need something official and catch is definitely where it's at i also paid 20 dollars for these tethers for my board so this kind of came in a pack of six so i use it for my boards and other miscellaneous things but make sure you get yourself some tethers and what i have the board on is this double header paddle holder now this one is from yak hacker but yak attack also makes them and what this does is usually you put a, a paddle right here and it keeps it straight if you don't have a paddle clip already but also if you have a catch board like this it goes on there and fits ever so perfectly and this is 30 dollars and right behind there we have the yak attack 360 light in my opinion this flag is 100 percent necessity on the water especially if you're fishing bigger water where there's other boat traffic or if you're fishing late at night or early mornings has a really bright flag a little twist on twist off light at top and it's collapsible so it just collapses real easy all the pieces come off and it's easy to store just like that and this little flag right here turns into a bag where you can store everything. It's super ingenious and I love it. This was $75. And since we're back in the kayak, I'm gonna bring up this milk crate. I have a video showing you exactly how I built this milk crate. So I'll link it up top so you can see it. But this milk crate was essentially free because I found these in my house already. And the only thing I paid for were these rod holders. And these rod holders are $15 each, and I have a set here and a set hit there on the other side. So we're looking at $30 for the milk crate itself. Another essential for kayak fishing is a good kayak cart. So I have this on my Wilderness Systems heavy duty kayak cart. I've shown you in a bunch of my other videos why it's a great cart and it's totally worth the money. It's one of those buy once, cry once situations. But if you're carrying a kayak over any sort of distance and you have it loaded and you don't have a buddy with you, you need this cart. It was $200 when I bought it. And one of my favorite accessories that I have on here is the Yak Power Relay Switch. So what this is, is it connects all my electronics on my kayak. So this is the remote for the Yak Power system. So essentially when I connect it to a battery, I can turn on all the different pieces according to this remote. So I have my fish finder connected to it and I have my GoPro power connected to it. So this will be plugged in, of course, with my GoPro up there. And I have the battery in the compartment and also lights. So I have my button lights in the front, my button lights in the back, which you can see right here in the back corner and my bow lights too. So one on this side and one on this side. So as soon as I decide i want something on i press the button that it's connected to on that remote and it turns on like this that system is incredible so i paid 300 dollars for that system for the lights and the switch itself and i don't regret it at all if you're interested i have a video of how i did the install so i'll copy it below and include it above as well and if you head over to yak power and buy something make sure you use coupon code bdf5 that's BDF5, and you'll get 5% off on anything you buy on there. So I'll include that below as well. And I run all that Yak Power stuff off of my Zoom's battery, which I keep in the front hatch of the kayak right here. So this is my battery. So the company was called Zoom's. Now it is called Red Odo. And these are awesome lithium batteries. So this is a 50 amp hour battery. And if you don't have a lithium battery, I totally recommend it. It is a little bit more money, 
However, it's gonna last longer, it's gonna hold more charge, and it's gonna give you better voltage across the entire life of the battery. So uh, that battery was $200 for the 50 amp hour. If you're interested in learning more about lithium batteries, either for your trolling motor electronics, I'll put a link into the video where I did a review on the Red Odo 100 amp hour lithium battery. Another awesome mod I did for the kayak that's definitely affordable is I added this keel guard in the front here. So this is just plastic from Amazon, Kydex, and some Gorilla Tape and clear silicone, and I put it on there. There's plenty of videos online, and I'll make sure I make a video pretty soon on how to do this install, but it was like 20 bucks and definitely worth it because it protects the front of your kayak. Another cheap mod is this magnetic lower dish. So I just put a little T-bolt in here with a wing nut and this dish itself is one of those hardware dishes that you can find at online or any hardware store and this mod was $20. And I saved a couple bucks because instead of buying $50 seat risers for my kayak, I did this two by four and I zip tied the chair to it and that was free 99 and I love it. And the last mod I added to this kayak was this yak attack mighty mount rail on the back so as you can see you get front rails but you don't get rear rail so i added this rail myself and it was super easy if you want to know how to do it i'll include the link in the video below as well and that was just 15 dollars and the last bit of change i spent on this kayak fishing setup is not actually on this kayak itself it's right over my shoulder here on this trailer so this trailer has my autopilot 136 which we're not going to talk about that one today but whenever i want to take this guy out i put him on here as well either on the bottom or the top so this trailer is the harbor freight 4x8 foldable trailer and once it's said and done and you get the spare tire and the jack and everything else you're looking at about 750 dollars and these racks, these truck racks from Viver were $230. If you wanna know more about these Viver truck racks, I did a review and I'll link it below as well. So what's the grand total after it's all said and done? Trailer, kayak, gear, crate, car, everything. On this, the grand total is $5,255. And if you wanna see how I installed my absolute favorite accessory, the Yak Power Relay Switch, check out this video right here. Till next time guys, peace and God bless.